What's going on, Internet? This is NerdLocker.com here, and we got movie news for you this week. Yay! Okay, more news from a film I am very excited Me for, too. Oz the Great and Powerful, uh, which will be directed by Sam Raimi. Michelle Williams is in talk to play uh, the Good Witch. We already have James Franco attached, Mila Kunis, uh, Michelle Williams and Hilary Swank were actually both in talks for this role, but it looks like it's going to go to Michelle Williams. Even though she has like some scheduling issues? Yeah, but I, I cannot wait to see Oz through the way like Sam Raimi sees it. I'm so excited, and it's a Disney film, so it's going to have a big budget. He's going to be able to do what he wants. And it's a prequel. The actual Oz story is awesome, but any novel I've read, and I'm a huge like Wicked fan and stuff, the stuff that happens before you get Dorothy into the picture, always way more interesting. Like Glenda the Good Witch, like how she became the Good Witch is always really cool. And Mila, Mila Kunis is going to be one of the other witches. And you have James Franco as the wizard. Now I'm a little bummed about James Franco because originally he was supposed to go to Robert Downey Jr. Which, which would have been awesome. I'm stoked for. I still think James Franco is going to do a very good job, but I just, you know. And the cool thing is, is he's worked with Sam Raimi with the Spider-Man yeah. film, so you have that Dynamic. Compatibility, yeah, yeah. compatibility and dynamic already, but I cannot wait to see this movie. It's something that from the moment I heard it, I've been very excited for. So be sure to check back with NerdLocker.com for more updates. All right, so there's a brand new zombie film that is going to be coming out soon. And it's British. It is British. Oh, man. But the people with the information on this one are Bobby and Cubby, so we're going to send it over to them. So we have word that Ian McKellen, Judi Dench, Gillian Anderson are set to star in the 18th century zombie comedy, The Curse of the Buxom Strumpet. Odd name, but fantastic cast. I'm only interested at this point because of Ian McKellen. Uh, the budget is very, very low. I think with a zombie flick, you need to have a very high budget. Not too high, not Dark Knight Rises 250 million it's budget, much. but Still a, a pretty big budget. You gotta do a lot of graphics and stuff like that, especially with Ian McKellen. I mean, it, it pretty much translates down to like uh, $3.5 mil million dollars for the budget. I just don't think that's really high enough. That's my problem. I don't think they're really gonna need to do effects. I mean, you can do zombie makeup on the, on the cheap. Um, it's, it's just makeup. And he's not gonna be Magneto. It's set in the 18th century. He's not gonna be throwing cars at, at things. I'm more excited to see how the story is actually gonna play out. I want to see how 200 years in the past, how they deal, or 300 years in the past, how they deal with a zombie breakout. And you know, we read stories all the time about things happening nowadays, and we can't make it out of that. So, how could they do 300 years ago? That's that's exactly right. I was going to make that other point. It is very interesting that it's set in the 1800s. I mean, I don't. I, that's exactly what I need to see to to maybe make me feel a little bit more confident about zombie flicks nowadays. They're kind of getting. A little overplayed. Yeah, drum, drum, uh, yeah. I love them. I was. I've always been a fan. But now that everyone else loves them too, I don't know. So Gotta draw the line. Uh, draw maybe the line. an 18th century uh, era flick will actually make me a little bit more interested again, which I'm all for. All right. Now this is something I'm very excited for because I was a huge fan of the other guys, but Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg will be teaming up again in a football comedy called The Turkey Bowl. How did they get another movie? Because Other Guys was Was great. not funny. I loved it. I just I stared at the TV hilarious. and I was like, this is literally stealing my time. No. Nope. It's it raped it. It raped my time. I thought it was incredible. It stole my time. Well, this there was, one's it was not more. funny. Oh, I'm not gonna watch this one because now I know better. Well, either way. Fool me once. Alec Baldwin has been casted as the uh, the father of Mark Wahlberg in the movie, and it's basically about the two of them leading their rival football teams, like the fans, to the big game. And uh, I I think it'll be great. I thought they played off each other well in Other Guys. I thought that movie was well done. Uh, this one was written by the guys who do 30 Rock, and it's going to be produced by uh, Adam McKay. So. I see this as a uh, win. So, straight from movie hell in my opinion, there might actually be a Scream 5. Scream 4 kind of grew on me. Yeah? Like, I, I didn't like it all that much the first time I saw it, and like, thinking about it, it's not as good as the first three in my opinion, but it, it's watchable. <laughs> it is. It, like, I, I was... Entertained? It was, I was entertained. 
Awesome. So I'm okay with the Scream 5. Yeah. I mean, I kind of figured they wouldn't because it did so poorly here, but yeah, apparently it did well overseas, and uh, Harvey Weinstein has said that there's a good chance Wes Craven's gonna do a sequel. Nice. So he's the guy that makes the decisions. So. Harvey Weinstein, not Wes Craven. Yeah, well, but. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's gonna happen, and I'll see it. Me too. Oh my gosh, we have Vin Diesel news. You wanna take it? Vin Diesel is set to star and produce the action comedy, The Machine. Uh, he, Diesel will play a human-like machine created in secrecy by the Pentagon to be the world's first ultimate weapon. 20 years after the machine was decommissioned and buried, it is discovered, reactivated, and befriended by a kid. Really? Come on. That sounds great. That sounds terrible. That sounds fantastic. It sounds so bad. Look who, who's, who's written it though. Thomas Lennon and Robert Ben Grimm. See, that's, that's kind of cool, but, because I, I really like Thomas Lennon, but I hate Vin There Diesel. is so much hope. So much. Why do you not like, he's a good actor. Come on though, like, really? Yes, really, it's, it's a, right there. It, ah, oh, it sounds, it sounds so stupid. It's gonna, it sounds good. It can't be any worse Come than Pacifier anyway. Well, that's not saying much. Well, true, that but. Was pretty bad, but I, I got nothing. I'm done. <laughs> All right, and lastly, movie releases this week. The Hangover 2 comes out and Kung Fu Panda. I'm totally stoked for both of them. Now, if any of you see that, I'd like to let us know what you thought. Be sure to comment on the website.